My name is Chris Lawrence, and I'm a principal planner with the Department of Urban and Economic Development. I spend a lot of time working with the DPW and the Parks Department to help maintain and improve upon our urban street tree canopy. In 2019, the City of Utica was awarded a grant for $50,000 from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation through its Urban Forestry Program. The purpose of the grant was to provide the City of Utica with the means to hire a professional tree company to conduct an inventory of the street trees within the city right-of-way, which is generally the space between the city sidewalk and the curb, as well as within the parkway median. In addition, we worked with the company to develop an urban forestry management plan. We hired Davy Resource Group, a national tree company based in Ohio, to conduct the inventory and to prepare the management plan. They collected information for the inventory throughout the month of December and delivered the plan in March of 2020. With the inventory and management plan completed, we now know where all of our street trees are, what species they are, and the general condition of each. This will help our Parks Department to be more efficient when addressing the urban forestry issues along our 212 miles of streets. We can now look at an interactive map and identify where all of the street trees are and what they are with the click of a mouse. It's important for the City of Utica to have a tree inventory so that we know what's out there. Like any inventory, you gotta know what you have so you can see where you're lacking and what's out there as far as damaged trees so that we can go in there and effectively remove them. So it's knowing what you have. And that's what's so important to have a tree inventory. They had a certified arborist go to each tree with a GPS unit and they entered information such as the diameter of the trunk, the height of the tree, the species of the tree, the specific type of tree, any general health conditions and defects. So one of the perks about working with Davy Resource Group was that it came with their patented TreeKeeper software. Uh, this is an online database that we now have so that we can take a look at all of the trees within the city of Utica's right-of-ways. Okay, so let's look for the ash trees in the city of Utica. You know, with all of the worries about emerald ash borer and the potential damage that they can cause, we might want to know where all of the ash trees are. That said, we might also want to find out which ones are recommended for removal. So we can find this in just a couple of clicks. Here you'll see we're left with only the trees slated for removal. Not all of these trees are dead, but they might have limbs that have to come down and they might require significant trimming. So this tree, for example, is located at Maryline Ave. And we might want to find out where this tree is. So we can enter it into Google Street View It'll indicate exactly where the tree is and show us a picture of it so that when the tree crew comes, they make sure that they're cutting down the correct tree. This is not an emergency. It's more of a routine removal, and we will add a new work record. This will help the Parks Department to keep track of when this tree was last worked on. In this case, it's being removed, so we'll obviously know that this will become a stump Having the tree inventory is a great tool for us to have in our toolbox. It's something that has to be continuously updated, and we're doing that through additional grants with New York State DEC. We're also working with Mohawk Valley Community College, who also submitted for a tree grant, and utilizing their students to do some of this work. We're also working with the Central New York Conservancy to do some of the tree work, too, with their arborists that are on staff. Now that we have all this great information, all these partners to do everything, now the Parks Department can look at these trees that we get inundated with calls to have trees removed all the time. And some of them are due to bad structures of the trees. Others are due to sidewalk interference, uh, sewer line issues. But a lot of them are just people that don't want to deal with the trees anymore. And that's a problem for us. It helps us in a way that we've had professional arborists go through the whole city and look at all our trees. We take it a step further. We go ourselves and take a look at the trees to see what really the interference may be other than what the arborist might have saw. With the combined efforts of both aspects of that into our toolbox, then we can make sound judgments of what we, what we can or can't do to the tree and tell the resident with certainty what could be done. And sometimes that's good news, sometimes that's bad news, but that's at least we have control over one aspect and that's the trees. So one of the reasons that we had this inventory conducted is to see what trees we had and where they're located. So out of the 10,800 trees that were inventoried, we learned that approximately 4,600 
are Norway maples. Now that's a significant figure because if we were to have a maple blight, we would lose almost half of our street tree canopy and we'd end up with the situation that they had when we had the Dutch elm disease. This new technology will help the city to maintain our trees, bring more efficiency to the parks department, and the website, along with the tree inventory, will soon be made available to the public on our city website.